Uh, many of you know that uh, as a little kid, I really struggled to learn how to read. Like I had to go meet with a, a second instructor and do all those kind of things. But the first large book I ever read was My American Journey. It was his autobiography. And I learned about someone who had, a, had an atypical story, had a, had a different experience. He grew, up at a, he grew up at a time where the world was looking for a black man to promote. And no one in this world would ever say that Colin Powell wasn't worthy, that he wasn't qualified, that he wasn't capable, that he didn't do an amazing job at every job he had. But he would be the first person to admit that without affirmative action, there is no General Colin Powell, there is no Lieutenant Colonel Powell. He never had an opportunity. But he was a guy that worked hard, and when he was in college, they said, I think you could be something. And he got an opportunity and consistently got opportunities and he showed up. And it taught me from a very early space that I too was gonna be in a situation like that. And growing up as a black kid in Detroit, you didn't see those spaces. And when people talked about their experiences with the military, the majority of the people I knew had bad experiences. They remembered Vietnam, they remembered these moments of racism and oppression and all those kind of things. And here I was reading about a guy who from his own advice was just a regular person who worked really, really hard and got really lucky and was standing next to people who saw greatness in him. And every time he got an opportunity, he listened and followed through. And so I just hope we think about that and we think about the spaces that we make for people because everything he did was about making space. When people wanted him to run for president or do other things, he said, no, I'm gonna go do this mentorship thing. I'm gonna go make space for other people. And that's what I will always remember about him. And as we think about people that we lost and the legacies that they leave, his legacy will be all the people that he brought up. I never met Secretary Powell, I never met him as a general, but I served under people who said, when I was a lieutenant, he came by and he told me. He put me in the right direction and he gave those spaces. And these are people, black, white, who gave me opportunities, who made space for me. And so in a small way, I kind of remember that. I, I get that feel for, hey, he continued to impact my life because Everything he did was about giving people opportunities. And we have an incredible opportunity every day to make space for other people in all of our lives and all the programming we do to get away from some of the political rhetoric because, I mean, by and large, he was a black Republican. And he was a black Republican in the 80s, right? Like this was not when it was cool or when there was space and they were, but he was working in the White House of the Pentagon and uh, the administration said, hey, are, are you a Democrat or a Republican? And he was like, he was like, I, I, he went back home, talked to his wife, and uh, his wife and him talked about it, and she was like, well, what's gonna keep you in the Pentagon? He was like, being a Republican. He's like, we're Republicans then, honey. And, and he stayed, right? Like, and he always found a way to talk about being a black Republican in a way that made sense for him, in a way that made sense for our community, and always continued to create space that we've lost, right? Like, and that's one thing that I will always remember from him, that I will always appreciate from him. And as we think about the next couple of weeks and the next year and our legacies, I hope it's about creating space. Because yesterday we lost somebody who made a lot of space and we're gonna need someone who can continue to do so. So I hope that you will remember uh, Secretary Powell in a similar way and that we will all take a little bit of a, a space and the burden to create space for other people. Because I'm standing here because he made space, and I know many of us are in the same. So remember that these seats that we have are temporary, and we should be making space for other people.